Hi guys, um, just a little interview. Glowing here with my lovely friend, which I don't see very often, Aileen, isn't it? Yes, well done. <laughs> now Aileen is here for the FLA, but I've seen Aileen everywhere. She's been at Fecal, she's been at Dunchanbo, she's been at Curry probably. She's been, and just I find her story really inspiring of how she's getting about and what her yearly rhythm is and um, if you don't mind maybe just, you know say a few words about you know hello I'm not sure who I'm talking to here <laughs> the world <laughs> but anyway I'm a, as you can see a very mature person and I find myself alone because um, my four children all live in other countries uh, quite far away the closest one would be in Germany so um, I don't want to impede on their lives of course and my son-in-law's and daughter-in-law's lives so for myself I decided the most positive way to live was to keep myself happy so I started living in Thailand every winter you know, about 20 years ago and I still go there for four months and keep a little room over there and um, met lovely people and go to nice music and uh, it's affordable and it's grand and it's completely different than my life otherwise and a couple of years ago I decided my house was too isolated so I sold it and I bought a Volkswagen camper van and I live in that five months in the summers and I go to one country a year and try to learn the language of that country oh wow I'm, I might I didn't know about that <laughs> well Brilliant. which is true I do travel of course to other countries like this year I've been in Portugal so I had to go from Shabu all the way down and across Spain and over so wow. but it, I just concentrate on one country one language don't always succeed but at least I can read their language oh my god that's mighty that's 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 more than a lot of young people well, sad to say, most adults get to in their lifetimes. And I, I was also inspired, that's already a lot of food for thought, but um, Aileen was just saying something about, um, I think it was just somebody older that you'd met recently, um, you'd visited their home, and, and I just thought it was, it's just so eloquent. You're just, you're, just, you're just observing, you're not making any judgment, but just do you remember you were talking about this lady who was a bit younger than you? And well, I, I was in general talking about the fact that I am looking at possibly buying a, a tiny house somewhere for when I get even older than I am now, and um, I was looking at some of the festivals. I was sitting beside people who are 20 and more years um, younger than I, and they um, were having trouble walking, and there was people with hip surgeries and knee surgeries, and it just seemed as if they, they weren't uh, hardly able to move anymore. And I, from living in Thailand and places, I would be doing Qigong or especially medicinal Qigong is tremendous for people who have trouble with balance and, and walking. So I, what you don't use, you lose as you grow older and you have to keep yourself going. And But becoming couch potatoes and watching too much telly and reaching out for biscuits, it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything for you. You don't feel as good. I, mean, I don't live strictly. I'm the first one to have a pint or something or <laughs> have some chocolate, but on the whole, you have to help yourself. And I, I, I do be surprised when people keep saying, oh, I envy you or you're amazing. And I say, oh, please come, please come along. You know, it, it doesn't cost much to live in Thailand. The main course is a euro, then so you, you spend money for the fare, but after that you mm -hmm. can, you know, have a great time and and there's always a reason why they can't and won't. So I just go alone. I go everywhere alone. It's easier. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live in a van with somebody who doesn't Maybe they'll even go to bed at 8 o'clock at night, or, <laughs> for God's sake, you know. <laughs> Nobody goes to bed that early here now. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'd, I'd better say goodbye to this inspiring person, uh, and thanks so much for just having a couple of words with us. Maybe we'll meet again in the uh, future, I hope so. I hope so. I didn't talk too fast. Oh, no, no, I no. I have a tendency to speak quickly. <laughs> no, 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 perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, just, uh, I, I can't speak highly enough of just... It's just so great to meet people and when, you know, you didn't have to say anything to me, like, you know, you're just sharing your life with me, so, just briefly, in between festivals, and, um, yeah, so that's inspiring. If you, if you had 
wants something to say. Um, if somebody, say, somebody 25 was just saying, what can I hear from you? You know, would there be something that would just come to mind? Somebody is very young, you mean? Somebody who's yeah. in their early yeah. 20s? Maybe a woman, even. Uh, a young woman, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it is very hard when you're young if you're burdened with the family. You can see the you can see you the way children, out. have you mean? Yeah. Okay. Because you're, you're, you're striving to do all, everything for them, feed them right, and yes. this world is just uh, a difficult place. And mm -hmm. if you are working, you're working for corporations. And But the, the only thing, the, the, you have to do something for yourself. You have to make sure that you have that time alone, even if it means getting up half an hour earlier. Mm -hmm. Have your time for a, a little bit of mindfulness and, and just... Let yourself feel it and feel the good things. Feel the, the fact that the kids are healthier and that you're, you're not, this won't go on forever. Yeah. And try to be around positive people. Because the only thing you can do in our world, which has many things wrong with it, is to get yourself calm and happy and do positive things for yourself. Don't mind spoiling yourself. Spoil yourself, do things for yourself, and from that you can go outwards. Mm, beautiful. Okay, thank you so much for that. Sorry, I'm saying You're thank you to Aileen here. Um, yeah, and we'll see you again. There you go.